Okay, guys, I've got a special guest for you here. We're live with Andy House, the president and group CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment. Andy, have you ever seen anything like Monday night at the PlayStation press conference? No, I have to say, Sid, I've been coming here for a good 15 years, and those cheers were, I think, the loudest that I'd ever heard, um, which was fabulous. I mean, it's great to know uh, that um, we listen to, uh, I think, PlayStation fans. I think we're delivering uh, on our promise to them, and the fact that we're getting such a positive response, you know, I think it's, it's just great news for us. Unambiguously positive. That's what's so interesting. It's just from all corners. I have people I haven't talked to in years texting me, writing me, tweeting me, hitting me from all sides. There's a giddiness to it. And I think that's one of the things that's so interesting. I mean, another thing I want to talk about, too. You, you came out, you showed this hardware. That got a big response, too. Beautiful looking device. But we have it here at E3, and you can see it. And I think. The photos don't fully do it justice. I think I think you're exactly right. And um, uh, when we were staging the show, it was one of the things we talked about is that it's it's such a lovely device, the shape and uh, the finish and the care that's gone into it. And you know, really, still images just don't do it justice. So I'd, I'd love for people, you know, to get a chance to see it um, in real life, as it were, because then I think you get the full impact. That DualShock 4 as well. I, we have it here at E3. I ran down. I played a little bit of Knack. That's coming from Mark Cerny. And the analog sticks, the triggers, the feel of the D-pad, the face buttons, everything just feels spot on. And you know what, we put a ton of time into user testing around that. Uh, Sumi-san, the product designer, and I argued about shaving millimeters off in different areas to get the fit feeling better. I had a similar experience. I was, um, Mark was in Tokyo a couple of weeks ago, and he said, hey, if you're free on Sunday, do you want to be the very first play tester of that? And I said, absolutely. So. Went down to the office, uh, got to play for a good hour or so. Um, apparently, I think I was quite useful to him. He said, <laughs> he said, based on my performance, he was adjusting the difficulty level. I take it he means downwards, but you know, but it was it was great. And to actually play for uh, you know a period of time with the new controller, um, it just I think reaffirmed some of the design decisions we took. It was awesome. And I, I love that Mark Cerny is the system architect on PS4. This guy is a development legend. And making a game in his spare time. How does uh, this guy do it? Amazing. Uh, he's just a very, very special person. Um, you know, he's been part of the PlayStation team, I think, from the very start. So it's been a long uh, and, and, you know, just a great relationship. And the fact that we've been able to have um, someone, as you say, who, who has such amazing uh, pedigree and talent in game development also helping us to design the next great platform I think is a really special contribution. Who better to help design the ultimate next gen console than a game designer himself? Inspired by developers. Absolutely. One of the things I also want to touch on here was the focus on indies. I, I think that's a strong suit for PlayStation. It's gotten stronger over the years. You don't typically see a company put eight or nine different indies up on the stage and say, here they are. I mean, they, and they got a huge response. I, th I think it's really important for uh, the health and the vibrancy of our industry that, you know, we all love to play big, high-end production games, and that's fantastic. But, you know, we really want to make sure that there's an opportunity for talent to emerge in our business, you know, from wherever, from small teams. And that way, you also get, you know, the unusual, the quirky, the funny, um, and all of that should be part of the PlayStation experience. So I'm really proud of the guys for the relationships that they're building. And also I think the fact that we're setting things up in the right way for small in development, independent developers to bring their ideas and their games directly to a PlayStation audience is something pretty special. Now, my favorite moment of the conference was right at the end, and it was a moment that you delivered. What was going through your mind when you were getting ready to name the price of the PS4 at $399 in the U.S.? Um, yeah, it, it's, it's, you know, I, I would have to say I, I wrote that part of the script myself because I wanted to get it right. And um, it, it, was, uh, it was just such a fun moment. Um, <laughs> you know, we teed it off with a little bit of a tease. We said that we, we, we were going to deliver good value. I hope that, you know, our fans in PlayStation Nation feel that it is a good value proposition. Um, but you know what? The funniest thing was, I think they timed the thing to go up on the screen, and I, you know, I managed to get one price out of the three out of my mouth before the place went wild. So um, that was awesome. I, right when you were saying great value, and I'm proud to announce three. There was this this audible sort of oxygen getting sucked out of the room. I was right there in a crowd. 
one of the most electrifying experiences of my life, and, and I mean that. That's I mean, fantastic. that was, I've never seen anything like it. So, any closing statements for the PlayStation faithful, PlayStation gamers? Look, I would just like to say what I get, re, repeat or reiterate what I said on Monday night, which is that. Um, you know, we've been in this business a long while. I think when we're at our best is when we are thinking about consumers, giving them great experiences. And um, I think also we try to uh, respect the views of our fans, give them uh, a great value proposition, uh, and also ensure that things like consumer ownership, uh, as I talked about on Monday night, are really important to us. So I hope that you know our PlayStation fans out there are as excited and energized as we are about this great new platform. We've got wonderful experiences coming at you. You should look forward to it. Outstanding. That was Andy House. We're going to go back live to PlayStation Livecast.